our cat is in the mood to play today, so I'm gonna apologize right away if he does anything weird, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fuss from Kujin Cosplay and today we are watching with you guys Full Metal, Metal Alchemist, Alchemist Brotherhood Episode 19, yeah, 19 Death of the Undying Is, is Gluteny gonna die? I hope, I don't like that character, he's scary He's kinda creepy He's so much creepy But I mean, yeah, cause last episode it ended with uh, Gluttony attacking, Rita, attacking uh, Rita. Rita, yeah. and she only has her guns, right? So not good. <laughs> uh, you've got uh, uh, all of Roy's team that's like on the move, and they're so badass, and they're uh, they're moving out, and they have this plan, and they look cool. But uh, after we found out that Maria was still alive, which was good, I'm afraid that it might go well, back yeah. down. So. Yeah, uh, also we learned that Winry's parents um, saved a couple of uh, Ishbalan and they were killed by an Ishbalan that they tried to save. Who might be uh, Scar's brother because he got the same tattoo on his arm. But he doesn't have the same face, so that's why yeah. we're hinting at the brother. Also, we saw uh, some kind of symbol. The symbol from the opening the, and the, the symbol Xerxes from... Greens, yeah. yeah, and from Lab 5. It's uh, at the roots, but we pretty much figured out that, I mean, the origin of alchemy and alchemy came from Xerxes, that we know, and there's someone who moved from there to the east and someone who moved from there to the, the west, west, and uh, it's from these two that they learned alchemy and alchemy. So, but is, what what is that gonna do? Is that gonna come back later on? Is Ed gonna go learn how to get his bodies? His, his, his brother's body and his uh, arm and leg back there, I, I have no idea. So, with that <laughs> said, see. yeah, we'll see. With that said, let's watch the episode right now. Woohoo! Straight to the point! Oh! Ah, he doesn't want another few. He's like, oh, fuck no! <laughs> Maybe we're gonna see uh, Roy fight in this episode. Oh, maybe. That would be awesome. So much awesome. Maybe. Do you think that maybe Roy could have a new, um, some kind of relationship with Ridza? Well, they're pretty close. Uh, I don't think they date. They're just good, close friends. Mm -hmm. It's almost like she asked. Well, you know, when the uh, last episode she tried to. Well, not last episode, but two episodes ago, when she tried to act like she was mad at him, the other people in the room, they were like, oh, she really is like his nanny. So I think she she's like a mother figure to him, even though they're the same age. <laughs> yeah. Because he doesn't take care of himself. So she's there to discipline yeah. him and stuff. Taisa <laughs> Good thing that they know at least a little. Oh, wait a sec. Death of the Undying could also be about, like, Barry or... or Alphonse. Alphonse. It's too soon for Alphonse. Yeah, I know. gonna but... die, yes. Ah! No! Get out of my... No! Oh, thank you, buddy! Don't, don't eat the dog. Woo! Like, the way they killed uh, Greed was with fire, like, they boiled him down. Fire! Yes! Yes! We're gonna save fire, we're gonna save fire. Roy, I take no bullshit, Mustang. <laughs> <sighs> so casual. Because if we're in danger. <laughs> See, she's literally like a mom. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Now, 
But damn, he must have run really fast. He cares about her. Oh. Get in. Get in. Like we we sometimes forget about Al, but he's been really troubled by Hugh's death just as much as Ed. そんなものありえん。リードは頭を半分吹き飛ばされても、すぐに元通りになっていた。信じるしかないわ。あんなの見せられたら。まさか焼け焦げて塔の上から落ちても死なないとか言うんじゃないだろうな。ああ、ダッ
Did you really just kill her? Holy shit, she recreates! Okay, they need help like now. No, 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 no. But why is he here? Are you fucking kidding me? Please? Just, like, they don't need that. <laughs> okay, she got him on the side. Ah. She's so fucking. うん。<笑><笑> So there's a possibility that you'll die. <laughs> oh, they'll think that Roy is dead. He's not dead, okay? Death of the Undying. Oh! And she can't do anything with a fucking gun. Masaka. Oh. I'm having chills. She actually does really care about Roy. Oh, this is beautiful! <laughs> you look pissed. <laughs> it's way too close to the tattoo for my liking. Much 
Let's try, let's try, let's try. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> yeah, now someone help him, please, someone help him. He fucking killed Lost. He's still alive. Was he about to help Lost? And he was just waiting to see. But he didn't move to to save her either. So what's going on with Bradley? I think he has a double, a triple agenda. Thing. I don't know. That's another <laughs> diagram or something. He's alive. Oh, thanks God! I guess. Yeah, but what's gonna happen? Oh! He was like attracted to. No. Okay, so before he wanted to kill himself. Oh! You, you think? Yeah. I think he was suffering. And the only way for him to die was to erase a symbol. Okay. So much happened. <gasps> Bastard! Okay, this episode, damn it! <laughs> what is he gonna do? Can I punch your screen, please? He's gonna get fucking mad. I am fucking mad! <laughs> Look at his face, though. Ah! He said his name, not Dad Father. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> Fucking course. But what's gonna happen next episode? Oh, holy shit! Oh my god, guys! Deceptive Did you zone. see the same thing that we just saw? Oh my! Ah! Uh, I don't remember which episode. I think we said one once in an episode earlier that uh, if they weren't we're, if they weren't showing us Roy fighting, it must be because they were keeping that for one awesome moment. And we and you were guys right. You guys were like saying, "Oh, you have no idea," or like, "Ha ha ha." Well, holy shit! Oh my How gosh! Fucking badass was he? Shirt got, open, like abs, abs showing, <laughs> abs showing, and he just didn't fucking stop. You just focus on the abs part. <laughs> no, but I, I, <laughs> I thought like, well, he said after that you need to call the doctor for Havoc. Maybe Havoc is still alive because I thought he was so mad because he died first. But uh, it, he could have been just that mad because she hurt one of his subordinates, and he cares about his subordinates. Like you thought you won, you thought you killed my man. I'm gonna fucking destroy But I you. hope that Havoc is in oh. jail, though. I, I think he wasn't because he mentioned the doctor for him, so I think he wasn't at the time when the attack lost, so there's a chance. He does look pretty dead, though. So we'll see in another episode. I really hope he's alive because I... If... This episode was epic after epic. One thing I noticed is that Alphonse ended up having the same motivation as his brother. He said last episode uh, that... Ed was said last episode that he was gonna start protecting everyone because he couldn't take another person dying for his quest. And I'll just reach that same point. They both are gonna protect as much people as possible. And Al too had one fucking epic moment, you know, when he, sh when he was all torn up and he just stood up. He was so cool! <laughs> oh gosh, because we all, we tend to forget about him, like how strong he is and how deeply uh, how deeply he is affected by everything that's happening around him. Oh. But now Lost is fucking dead. Finally! <sighs> now we just need Green. I thought she was Andy. gonna be I thought she was gonna be one of the last ones of uh, dying because she was so important. Maybe she's gonna come back. And I mean if Roy reacted like this and the way sorry, but the way he used Havoc's lighter. And geez, he burned his own wound! That was so epic! Anyway, but yeah, I thought she was gonna be one of the last ones to die because she was so important, but if Roy reacted that way with Lost, how is he gonna react with Envy? Oh... She if doesn't set a chance against him. If he knows. But, oh, and Ritza! Ritza's, like, breakdown when she learned that Roy was dead. 
she cares about him so much. Like you, you were mentioning, maybe they're involved together. I don't know. I don't think they're um, involved. Maybe but they could be involved. Something could be starting and growing between these two, but. Even if there's nothing um, going on right now, I don't see they any care for each other yes, like, deeply. Yeah. Like, pfft. I personally don't see anything romantic between the two right now. I think they're just very, very close friends, and they hide that friendship behind, you know, behind their grades. Basically, she's his subordinate, but she she's the close subordinate that needs to take care of him, and they try to hide that behind that. But they've been together for so long that they actually really care about each other. It was. Oh, and they even made a, uh, mentioned that Roy was the great hero of the Ishvalan War. He killed, yeah, he apparently, well, he's good. Yeah, we know that he had a, a part in it. Yeah, he was yeah. in it, and I mean, he saw his power. Holy shit. He's strong. But it, it also means that he's had a huge hand in the, in the war, so he's seen as his share of death and uh, of injustice. I mean, that's why he wants Maybe so that's why he to... wants, yeah, to be this, the leader. Yeah. Bradley, what the hell is wrong with Bradley? Like, I, I thought for sure when he, he was going in alone that he was going to, you know, attack Roy. But then, obviously, he stopped himself. And when he found out that Lost was dead, well, he didn't move to help her or anything. He just... You know what I think was going on? I think he got a third agenda. Because he is the only homunculus that can grow whole and probably and he has a die. Kid. He has a wife, he has a child. True. And maybe he doesn't believe the same belief than the others and, and father's belief. So maybe on the surface, he acts like he's really cold and he's following his mission. But when given the chance to just not do anything and step out, like he, he could just say, well, like, I was too late. She died. But deep down, he thinks maybe that Roy had a, a reason for killing her and he deserved to have his vengeance or something. So maybe just let him kill her because he, he recognized that moment. Or as, maybe he's going to have something against father and the other among us. I really don't know. But this scene, this scene wasn't there for, for no reason. There was definitely something. Speaking of the father, I cannot wait to see what Ed is going to tell him next episode and what he's going to answer I just want to punch your screen when I saw his face. He's clearly... Well, f f I, I can say that he's clearly <laughs> sad. Did you say that his face was kind of different from what we saw in... Um... It's definitely him. It's the same beard and stuff. But, I mean, he's definitely sad. So he did care about his wife in some way. Or I, th I think he cared. Like, that might not be the reason why he's sad. But, I mean, he's sad. When we saw him, he was sad. So there's that. And, uh, but we also found out that the thing that he drank was the Philosopher's Stone. So he's drinking Philosopher's Stones. <laughs> so all these Weird. deaths were, were, you know, all these murders were committed in order to create the seven deadly sins. Wouldn't be surprised if that's the answer to our questions. After this episode, and... I just want to move on, you know? <laughs> Oh, uh, it was a fucking good episode. I I, I want to say that I'm sad that Barry's dead. Even, uh, he, <laughs> but he was he, funny. He, he was funny, but it was technically a murderer. He was a murderer. Yeah. You think he killed himself? I thought he was just adoring himself no, so no, much. No, he, he was crying. His his body was crying. You you saw his face that it was. So I think. So you think the maybe the body was attracted to his soul, and since he couldn't reunite with it. He just decided to... Well, the body was decomposing himself. Uh, he was dead. He was dead. He was dead. I don't know what kind of soul was in it mm. to mention him um, mobile and some kind of alive. But he was definitely trying to, to find some peace. We, we can see it that and way. And I'm kind of scared because I hope that the case is not going to be the same for Alphonse. Like, how could... I mean, the armor is gonna, you know... But the armor work. cannot deteriorate or decompose. It's or maybe the iron. connection is not gonna be as strong in the future. It's a chance. Like, the armor is gonna repulse Alphonse's soul, something like that? Yeah, it's gonna stop moving, or it's gonna... What's the word? Um, rust? 
Rust, you think? Yeah. Is it rust? I, I had rust in my in my head, but I don't know. Anyway, maybe it's gonna get older, and, and you know, it's gonna move not as fast as, as it used to. Maybe he's gonna have problems in the future. But he definitely now believes that there's a time limit to everything. So yeah, they need to find a solution as, uh, as ASAP. He, they need to do something because uh, it's not going good. It's not looking good. Okay. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching this episode with thank us. You. Oh, it was so epic. <laughs> If you guys want to see the next episode right now, it is already up on our Patreon page. The link is down below in the description. And if you want to see the next episode right on YouTube, it's going to be uploaded tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, so see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching.